Something Like Fate, 2010, a young adult contemporary romance novel by Susane Colasanti, follows a girl who is in love with her best friend's boyfriend and the choices she must now make. The book received mixed reviews upon publication, as many readers struggled to find the relationships portrayed in the book authentic. Colasanti is a best-selling author who has authored many young adult contemporary romance novels. A science teacher at a local high school for 10 years, she brings her understanding of teenage behavior to her novels. 16-year-old Lonnie is finishing up her junior year in high school. She has two best friends, Blake and Aaron. She has been friends with them for as long as she can remember. Lonnie, a keen activist, leads the One World Club, a group focused on recycling and saving the planet. She's popular with her classmates and never gets into any trouble. All Lonnie is interested in is the great senior year which is now approaching. Lonnie doesn't have a boyfriend. Still, she's happy for Aaron when she starts dating Jason. Aaron loves Jason and wants Blake and Lonnie to meet him. They all hang out at a pizza place one afternoon, and Lonnie immediately feels a connection to Jason. She doesn't mention anything to Aaron and of course, but she has an instinct that the feeling is mutual. Later, Lonnie thinks over what happened at the pizza place and decides to forget about it. Jason is Aaron's boyfriend, and Aaron looks happy. However, when Jason starts sitting with the girls at lunchtime, Lonnie can't help falling in love with him. She spends as much time as she can getting to know him. Blake doesn't say anything, because he assumes it's innocent, and, at first, it is. The problem is, Jason falls for Lonnie, too. She's the only girl who's ever got him, and he feels they have so much in common. Lonnie feels the same way, but she's too scared to admit it. When Jason finally tells Lonnie how he feels, he doesn't expect her to have the same connection. At first, Jason wonders if Lonnie and Blake are together, but Lonnie assures him she's interested in him. She also tells Jason that Blake is gay, something Blake doesn't want everyone to know just yet. Feeling she has crossed a line, Lonnie tries to avoid Jason. When Aaron goes away to summer camp, Lonnie focuses on her activism and her summer job. When she tells Blake about how she feels, Blake admits he's not surprised. He tells Lonnie to go for it because nothing should stand in the way of love. Still, Lonnie hesitates. One day after work, Lonnie runs into Jason in the grocery store. She tries to pretend she doesn't see him. Jason, however, sees her and comes after her. He wants to know why she's been avoiding him. Lonnie doesn't know how to answer him. However, Jason gives Lonnie news she wasn't expecting, he broke up with Aaron, and he wants to have a relationship with her. Lonnie feels horrible for being glad that Jason is finished with Aaron. She's not ready to have a relationship with him yet. She agrees to see him over the summer, just to see if they could work. Blake thinks this is a great idea, especially since Aaron's still at summer camp. She doesn't need to know anything about Jason and Lonnie. Lonnie hasn't heard much from Aaron over the summer, because they're both busy. This makes it even easier to cover up what she's doing. Jason and Lonnie finally share their first kiss on the 4th of July. Lonnie decides she's ready to have a relationship with Jason. They see each other all the time, and they grow closer. They decide to tell Aaron about their relationship as soon as she gets back from summer camp. They want to be honest with her because it shouldn't come from anyone else. Blake vows he won't say anything until Lonnie does. However, Jason emails Aaron before she comes home to tell her about Lonnie. Aaron is livid because they've kept this a secret from her. She also feels betrayed by Lonnie. When Aaron comes home, she exiles Lonnie from the group. Blake isn't speaking to her either, because he finds out that everyone now knows he's gay. Lonnie breaks up with Jason because she's mad at him, and she thinks it's the only way to get Aaron back. Aaron, however, still doesn't want to know her. One night, Lonnie helps Blake out of a bind, and they apologize to each other. He encourages her to talk to Aaron. When Lonnie tells Aaron how she feels, and that she never meant to hurt her, they repair their relationship. Aaron gives Lonnie her blessing to date Jason, so in the end, Lonnie gets both the guy and her friend back. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.